Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, I celebrated Christmas to the fullest. I got drunk and everything else. I really fucked up. My voice is completely gone. I was feeling very sick yesterday and today is still a little bit not, uh, not, not perfectly well, but I'm going to make a short but powerful video, so don't expect a rambling on video for 25 to 20 minutes. Powerful 15 minutes, like three amazing charts, trading tip, some travel tip, a beautiful live advice, and maybe even talking about the news. But that's all, short but powerful. Enjoy this full video, guys, and give it already a thumbs up, and let me know already now down below in the comments how was your Christmas this year. Guys, now let's quickly jump into the charts. Bam. This is the first chart for the day, guys, and the first chart is a weekly chart. I'm gonna directly zoom out, not looking at the shorter time frames. This is a very important chart, the weekly chart, because everyone is thinking now, where are we going to go? Are we going to go higher? Are we going to go lower? Where's the support level? Where's the resistance level? Guys, the target for me is still 48K, somewhere over there. That is the target that we should be reaching with Bitcoin. If we would reach 48K, break that level, then even 60K is in the play. Now, what is the support if we can't? break that 48k if we can't even break 44k where could we go back to first of all this level over here 37,800 very important support level we were around that level for almost four or five weeks guys so yes we will be going back to that level eventually in my honest opinion even if it's just with a wick i do think there is still some liquidity that needs to be picked up around that 38k level if we would break that 38k level guys it's very simple we will fall back to the 31k level that is the ultimate dip for me. I'm not saying that we're going to dip to 31K. I'm saying that if we dip below 38K, we could even dip to 31K. Down below 30K, never possible for me in this bull market again. So even maybe in the far future, never possible again to go down below uh, 30K ever, ever, ever. So yes, congratulations to everyone that already bought below 30k you did it an amazing job now let's quickly jump into the next chart this chart guys is showing you the bitcoin price on christmas day 2023 the bitcoin price was 43,000 us dollar 2022 we were at 17,000 us dollar 21 at 50,000 us dollar 2020 23,000 us dollar if you ask me we will be on christmas day 2024 around the 80k and probably on christmas day 2025 maybe even around that 100k beautiful chart that uh, next year will be updated and then let's see uh, how christmas will look next year again probably there will be a little bit more christmas presents down below the three in 2024 as a shitload of people then became millionaires now then we have this chart and this chart is showing you guys and um, that we are still down below in that green part of the chart if we will go to the top we will arrive somewhere in that reddish part of the chart and that reddish part of the chart is somewhere between 90k and above 100k guys so this is a very beautiful chart that shows you we can't be too bullish yet you know even 100k would be a beautiful target it's just very important to see these trend lines on the chart the yellow ones that the moment we break them we mostly never come down below them again and when we see the pit stop line that we mostly retest that pit stop line to be very honest and that pit stop line is around that 30k level that level that i just talked to you guys about so very interesting chart that is even showing that is also showing that if we pull back we could pull back to that level of 30k and from that moment again explode towards 40 50k around the halving and then towards a new all-time high end of 2024 and a new bull market top somewhere in 2025 guys it's simple as that that was also the last chart for the day guys keeping it short but powerful Hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. Yes, and also after Christmas, I'm going to keep rambling on about the charts, about Bitcoin. It's now used if you're not a trader to zoom into the charts. If you're an investor, you zoom out. You invest in Bitcoin. You look at the bigger picture. You understand the four-year cycle. You understand that we're going into the halving in April 2024. And that will propel Bitcoin into new all-time highs all the way somewhere October 2024, I think, and the ultimate all-time high somewhere in 2025, guys. That is my perspective on the Bitcoin market. No financial advice whatsoever, just the advice of a long-haired dude that has been in the industry since 2013, which is now 10 years. 
10 years of Bitcoin in my life already. So I guess I kind of understand the movements of the cycles now. So that's why I keep repeating every time again and again, all the way up to the halving, you should be accumulating Bitcoin. From the halving, again, sit back, lean back, enjoy the beautiful bull run all the way up to these new all-time highs. Now let's jump into the trading tip. For the trading tip today guys again talking about a short pattern this time we are talking about the pennant the pattern resembles a triangle and mostly happens after a huge uptrend or a downtrend so we have this uptrend and then bitcoin starts to consolidate but then inside of this pennant and then in that pattern keeps moving and if we come from the bottom up into that pennant then we break out to the top continuation pattern if it is the opposite if we are in the bear market into that pennant also, bam, breaking down again, continuation pattern. So yes, these pennants are a beautiful structure of the market that shows us there will be a continuation either to the upside or to the downside. That was another beautiful chart pattern that will help you to become a better trader when it comes to trading cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Now, let's quickly jump into the travel tip. The travel tip for today, guys. Last time we talked about how you can become a house sitter when you sit some pets. That was the website trustedhousesitters.com. Today I'm going to talk about a different way to sleep all over the world in a cheap way while you connect with um, the local people, and that is called couch surfing. And couch surfing doesn't mean that you need to sleep on a couch, but it does mean you sleep in the house of a local person in that city. And if you do couch surfing, mostly you can stay for free and the person that you're staying with will guide you through the city and uh, show you around. It's a very cool and cheap way of traveling where you don't need to spend too much money. You still stay at a beautiful place and you get connections with the local people that probably know the best places out there for you to go and visit. So couch surfing is still a very beautiful, valid way uh, to travel the world very cheaply guys so go to the website couchsurfing.com and find beautiful places all over the world where you can stay for free at local places guys a beautiful travel tip again for today couchsurfing.com let's jump into the next part As there were no videos in the last two days, as, as there were no videos in the last two days, guys, there is no question for me to answer. So I'm going to skip that part for today. I'm going to keep it short and powerful. Today, the news. Also, no specific news today because it was Christmas, so nobody has news. But the news that I want to share with you for me is, if we look back now in 2023. We had FTX collapse, we had again banning Bitcoin over the world, we had again so many problems with the SEC, we had so many issues in Bitcoin and still the Bitcoin price is up there at 42,000 US dollar per Bitcoin guys. So that is just for me to make very clear to you guys, whatever the news is, whatever the news is, the Bitcoin price will move as it has always has been moving in the four year cycle. It can be positive news, it can be negative news, it can influence the emotions a little bit of the people. But always understand that in my honest opinion, TA is way more important than the news. The news can give that extra pump or that extra dump to the market structure that is being built because of TA. But the news will never be leading in my honest opinion. Of course, the spot ETF could be leading to the emotions of people and to euphoria, but it doesn't mean the liquidity is going into the market. The liquidity will go into the market because of the TA. The liquidity will go into the market because they see the gains that Bitcoin has been making in the last decades. Because they see and understand that Bitcoin is the best performing asset of those last decades. That is why the liquidity is going into the market. Not because of the news about Bitcoin. It's coming into the market because they understand that Bitcoin is the gold of the 21st century. It's outperforming gold, it's outperforming silver, it's outperforming any other asset in this world. It is not only outperforming because of the return of investment, but also in any other way, guys. Bitcoin is outperforming gold like 10,000 times better than gold. It's way more scarce from April 2024. Those people and institutional investors now start to understand how powerful Bitcoin is and can be for the future. In 10 years time, you will probably bring your grandchildren into a museum and tell them, look, this was paper money. And it, this was something that we used to pay our groceries with, paper money. And then your grandchildren will be laughing in your face and will be telling you, granddad, you're not gonna tell me 
that you were using paper to pay at a store? You really believe that that paper but that number had a value? Did you really use that? And then you as the grandfather needs to answer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we really needed, the, we really believed in the value of paper and we used that paper to pay. And, and I can tell you even better, if we paid with the paper money, we got coins in return because mostly it was not the perfect amount that you need to pay in the store, so you got coins. So yeah, we had these small coins also that had value. That's going to happen in 10 to 20 years' time. You will be bringing your grandchildren into the museum and telling them, serious, we really used paper. And your grandchildren will be then like, why the fuck did you use paper if you could use Bitcoin or any other digital currency? And then you need to tell them, no, at that time it was not that popular yet. I didn't trust it that much, so I didn't go all in. I know a guy that went all in, this long-haired dude from the Netherlands with his family. <laughs> That kind of stories you will be telling to your grandchildren while you'll be walking through the museum to showing them what paper money was. So everyone slowly starts to understand that if you want to keep freedom when it comes to money, then you should be starting to invest in Bitcoin. Because those central banks' digital currencies, they won't give you freedom. They will give you full social credit system imprisonment. Yes, that's what they are going to do. They're going to freeze your capital the moment you don't do what they want you to do. That is what the central bank's digital currency only goal will be. And if you want to fight against that, you should be investing in Bitcoins. That was the news for today. Let's jump into the last part of the video. And guys, I want to remind you to use the links down below to the videos. Yes, there's links to insurance company, travel insurance for digital nomads. Of course, buy bit uh, to buy your first Bitcoins. Uh, there's a bonus up to 30,000 US dollar. Till the 12th of January, I still have a special bonus together with buy bit where you can win an iPhone 15, $20 uh, airdrop, uh, VIP membership for the Bitcoin family, and yes, a cool Bitcoin t-shirt. So go there, use the link down below. The last part of the video, guys. Oh, fuck, man, I'm really not feeling well. But the last part of the video is this simple quote. There is nothing more powerful in life than don't give a fuck. Sometimes you just must not give a fuck. Don't giving a fuck is the most powerful tool you can use. Because if you don't give a fuck, then nothing really matters anymore. And when nothing really matters anymore, you will probably start to act the way you really want to feel and act. So don't giving a fuck is a very powerful tool to manage yourself in this strange world that we are living in. Don't give a fuck about the media opinions. Don't give a fuck about the governments. Don't give a fuck about all the rules. Don't give a fuck about all the social pressure that's being put on you that you need to wear certain clothes and brands and jewelry and own cars. Don't give a fuck about all of that. Just enjoy your life the way you want to enjoy it. That's the only message I want to give on this very painful day for me, that I am also not giving a fuck. I'm sweating here. Well, it's not that hot. But that's probably because of all the alcohol of Christmas, but I don't give a fuck. I want to celebrate my life to the fullest with my family during Christmas, during New Year. So yes, at those moments, maybe I should give a little bit more fuck. <laughs> but I didn't give a fuck. And that's what ended me up with this voice and all that stuff, guys. I'm going to stop the video. It's good for me. Hopefully you can appreciate me still making a video on this day. It's not feeling really perfect. Uh, but if you do appreciate me making videos on this day, please give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about everything else? Yes, I will be back to normal again from tomorrow on. Normal videos, walking and talking on the Bitcoin Bodhi Beach. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day. and see you tomorrow again. Bam.